Hey, what's up everybody? It's Matt from Rocky's War Room and tonight I have another Let's Build video for you. This time it's for bolt action. It's the British Airborne Starter Army. Uh, this is a going to be a big, a big uh, Let's Build video. So bear with me. We're going to build each, each component of this set and I'll kind of give you, show you guys how I did it and uh, uh, what troubles I had with it and uh, kind of like a review at the end as well um, and what not to do. So this box is a, a really big box. It's uh, pretty thick here. Um, these are the thousand points uh, starter armies for the Airborne. Now I bought this force because I have a, for a Falsham Jaeger force and Grenad a Grenadier Falsham Jaeger force I'd like to put the uh, British Airborne against. Um, so this will make a good addition. Uh, this is what makes it up a thousand points. They give you a list of how they built it on the back. And uh, <clears throat> obviously you don't have to 100% follow it, but it's actually 998 points as it comes to. Um, and uh, and it's got a nice description of the box. Uh, so the way they have it broken down, they have a second lieutenant, which you can easily make into a first lieutenant uh, instead of a second lieutenant. An artillery fort observer, uh, three paratroop sections. Now th these each will have different... SMGs here, and obviously you can give, you know, two, two, and two if you really wanted to. Um, I don't particularly use SMGs, uh, so if there's enough rifles in this in this box set, if not, I've got more, of course. But if there's enough rifles in this set, uh, I'm going to go ahead and just give them all rifles. Um, it's better to have the shots than the 12 inch range and the SMGs, but that's, you know, that's just opinion. So, um, but each one has an LMG team. There's two LMG teams. If I can make a third, I will do that. Uh, and flesh it out. It all depends on what comes in the kit here. So uh, we got a Vickers MMG, a light mortar, and a medium mortar team. Um, I like light mortar teams uh, for pop and smoke. Uh, they don't really do anything much in the game. I believe this one's a metal model team, which is fine. Uh, here's a medium mortar team with a spotter. So two different uh, types of mortars there. Uh, a Piat team. Heck yeah, we're going to have one of those. A sniper team, for sure. I'm going to make that. Uh, a flamethrower team, which I haven't really used the flamethrower that much. I may experiment with that. And the QF six pounder anti tank gun, and they make them veteran. So a lot of veterans on their support choices uh, for the whole entire army there so, uh, to go along with your um, your paratroopers. So uh, very veteran armor, hard to kill, very hard to kill. Uh, and I love the starter box and I love the way it's, it's laid out. Uh, cause it's like, here's your thousand points painted up. So, um, now this is really cool. This is another thing. Uh, I'm, what I'm going to be doing is I, I've got a second box, a second British starter army coming in the mail in the post, uh, because I'm going to do one British and one Polish. Uh, this box contains a thousand points of plastic and metal British or Polish airborne troops in the mid war to late war uniforms. Now, uh, as you know, you probably know, if you don't know, um, <clears throat> this kit comes with heads for the Polish, um, the Polish Airborne. And the British Airborne wore their hats with the insignia sideways, while the Polish Airborne wore theirs backwards. So I think that's really cool. I love the Poles. I have uh, a whole entire 3,000 point early war Pole army. So uh, I figured I'm going to bring them into the late war with the British. Uh, I think that'd be really cool. It'll make for good games. Uh, and see how they do. So uh, <clears throat> without further ado, <laughs> we're going to open this box and see what's inside. So, all right. So what we have is a blister. Ah, another blister there. So there's two blisters. Ooh, and look at the plastic. Oh, one fell over here. All right, we got that. All right, that's everything in the box there. So obviously we have stands. Oh, and a whole entire sheet of stands there. And this is the money. So it comes with a pamphlet, a bolt action pamphlet, and it's got numbers on them if you can see that uh, on the screen there it, it, without a glare. Um, we have the British with helmets. Uh, we got the British with, with their berets. And we have the Polish with their backwards berets heads. And it tells you on heads for the British beret, heads for the Polish beret. You got a wounded head, a helmeted head, and they kind of number them out and tell you exactly what they are. And it looks like you get six to a base, or to a, uh, a sprue there. So you get two, six, 12, 
24. Oh, wow. Okay. So 36, 36 airborne in this kit. That's pretty good. That's pretty good value. That's, that's quite a bit. Obviously, uh, we see from the thousand point starter on the back, you're going to be making a total of 10, 28, uh, according to their thousand point list. Um, so that's only using, you know, three of our sprues here. So the other ones, uh, which I didn't show you guys, uh, how they came up with this, this little asterisk here, it's down here. If you read, it's made from the components of the plastic sprues included. So, uh, an LMG team, SMGs, your, uh, NCO. So in your artillery Ford observer, um, he's free. Uh, and points wise, but all this stuff with the asterisks were made from the plastic set. So a uh, sniper team, you don't necessarily have to make the sniper team. You don't have to make these, but if you want to follow their thousand points here, you will. So I'm going to veer from this list, uh, based on how many plastic sprues I have, um, points wise, I'm probably going to have three units of, uh, a full 10. So of the paratroop section, so 30 troops, three squads. Um, and that would be taking away something like the sniper team, um, which is really easy to do. You just grab a couple models and say they're a sniper, <laughs> uh, stuff like that. Like the, uh, artillery Ford observer, he's necessary for your, uh, mortars for sure. Um, he would definitely help out your, your mortars, even though they gave this one a spotter. That's always good to have a spotter. He can zero on the target. So we'll see what, based on the components of the game, what, uh, uh, of the box, what I can make. Uh, so what I want to do first is the paratroop section uh, with the plastic sprues. So we'll set those aside and we'll take a look at what's in here. They call it blister C and D. And it doesn't look like there's an explanation of what's in what blister. So you're going to probably have to put these together based on what they are. So I'm assuming this is going to be either the Vickers. Hey, Ronnie, thank you very much. I appreciate you packing this. And we got bunch of bases and obviously um, all the components for that anti-tank gun are in here obviously we're gonna look it up um, see what it looks like and in, in uh, ah, based on its picture uh, on the warlord website to find out what components go where so I'll take these out and show this to you guys so we have this. All right. Let me zoom in on these. So obviously this is our light mortar. So that's your light mortar, man. It's wearing a beret. It's awesome. I think all my British airborne are going to have berets. Not sure yet, but we'll see. But that's a medium mortar. That's definitely a big shell. <laughs> So we're going to go ahead and put that with the anti-tank gun. Let's see here. This looks like it is a, uh, this looks like he is a loader. We got a, looks like a rifleman. Go we'll hold off on that. We got a gentleman with an SMG or nope. That's a flamethrower right there. That is definitely a flamethrower. So awesome. We got a flamethrower guy with one extra man. And this would be, this would go with the light mortar. This is the loader right there. So we will put him with the light mortar. That's what it looks like to me. So we'll put them together. And this is the flamethrower with one guy. And then this looks like yeah, this looks like the uh, commander of the anti-tank gun. So he probably goes with it. We'll look at pictures, find out which goes with with, with which when we uh, when we build these. Okay, so we got that right. Now we'll open up the other blister, which should be about the same here. So uh, medium mortar. Medium machine gun team, spotter base, I'm assuming. There's our decals. I thought we were missing those. It's good that they put them in the blister. Awesome. Patches, everything. 
Very cool. And if you want to make a medic, there's a strap for the medic. <clears throat> All right. So we got those bases. All right. So we got our Vickers. Right there. This is our mortar for our mortar team. So we'll separate that over here. Uh, on the top side, we got the feeder, the gun feeder. There we go. So he feeds the gun. We'll put him over there. Oh, we have the medium mortar stand. Put that with the mortar. And we can only conclude that this here. Oh, wait, no, wrong one. <laughs> this guy here, he's like, oh. <laughs> that's a mortar team there. That's the medium mortar team. He's dropping the shell. And all right. All that's left is this fella here. It looks like he's carrying ammunition. And this fella here. I believe he belongs with the machine gun team. Yes. Well, yes, he's got an SMG, so. And he's carrying rounds, it looks like. So if that's wrong, I'll take a look at the picture uh, on Warlord's website of what models go with what. I should know. I'm pretty sure that that last guy is with the mortar team. Um, <clears throat> this fellow is pointing at what to shoot at with the Fickers. So, all right. So there you have it. Uh, this is our... Light mortar team, our flamethrower team, flamethrower with a guy with a rifle. We have our anti-tank gun here, which has three guys with it. So that's the metal pieces. <clears throat> so I think what's going to happen is, is based off this list here, I'm probably going to drop my sniper. Um, I don't typically use one in the list. Uh, you make this out of the kit. And I'll probably add those two to this eight-man team and make uh, a 30-man squad. Uh, and then I'll probably make everything else. I want a Piat team for sure. Um, and a light mortar team, it's metal. I'll take it. Uh, I guess it helps if you have a uh, artillery fort observer and having all this stuff too. So I, I, I'm not sure. Uh, we'll, we'll do it as I go. But for the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put together these uh, 30 guys here. And uh, I'll only show you a video of me putting together 10 of them instead of all 30. Uh, but I'll be cutting them off the sprues. This is one of the sprues, as you can see, very well detailed, um, very nicely done by Warlord. I really like them. And different weapons options, bayonets, things of that nature. Guys pointing with their fingers, extra packs. There, I believe, is your Piat right there. And if that's a Piat, there's one on every sprue. So, very cool. Very nice to have extra Piat arms there. <laughs> and then, of course, you got the, uh, the ammunition carrier there. So, but, um, and your pouches and things of that nature. Uh, so, what I'm going to do is I'm going to come back and I'll have at least 20 of these guys put together. And I'll put together the 10. I'm putting them together exactly the same way. Not 100% sure if I'm going to be using SMGs in my squads. I probably might include a couple, maybe the NCO and one other guy. But other than that, I like the firepower of just having a bunch of rifles uh, with the distance. Uh, I feel like I can shoot at a distance and instead of getting up so, uh, and not having to get up so close to shoot with those SMGs. So having three, I think, is a little excessive. That's just in my opinion. Having three in a squad or two in a squad, um, maybe just the NCO uh, tops. Uh, that's usually what I do is just the NCO will have some sort of special weapon like that. If they're in that close, he should be shooting too. <laughs> so they're really nice close combat or uh, when you're close to each other. But other than that, I'm going to crack on with this. Remember, there's a pamphlet that shows you how. So I'm going to put together 20 guys. And when I come back, you'll see 10 of them laid out. And uh, I'll show you how I built them.
Right. Finally finished it. <laughs> the uh, this is the British Airborne uh, thousand point starter set, um, which is uh, not that big. It's not it's not as big as the uh, normal starter sets, but it's uh, it's uh, pretty awesome. And there's a lot of little pieces. And uh, uh, as 
a friend of mine would call fiddly bits. <laughs> uh, but they are plastics and they're beautiful plastics. They're actually really, really nice plastics. I, I can't commend them enough for uh, these uh, new plastic kits and these plastic kits for World War II. Uh, but anyway, um, what we have here are th one, two, three, ten man squads. Each one of them are identical. They have a Bren gun with a loader, uh, two Sten guns, SMGs, and the rest are riflemen. Um, of course, with the yeah the loader, we have the loader. So those are identical there. Uh, there's 30 guys there. Uh, we have our six pounder uh, anti tank right here with three men. Uh, this came with some extra ammo boxes and um, some ammo boxes and some shells that you can put on the base. I do have to find a base for that. It comes with a large round base, but I don't particularly like putting my artillery on those large uh, round bases. Uh, I reserve those for like square MDF pieces. Uh, so you can do kind of like a dioramic um, piece for that. Uh, you got your uh, medium machine gun your light mortar team, your flamethrower team, which is really cool. I like that they throw in the metals there. They go well, they scale up nice, not much different. Uh, you have your medium mortar team, you have your uh, artillery observer. Now, uh, this is how I built them with the telescope. And uh, remember how I said about the sniper rifle. Uh, I wanted to make sure everybody had enough rifles, so I cut the scope off. I'm going to clean it up, obviously, before I prime it. Um, the rest of that scope, uh, scope there. But if, as you can see, I hide it behind the knee as he's kneeling down. So you can't see it. So he's considered just to have a rifle. Um, I could also make this my sniper if I want to. Um, but it obviously doesn't have a scope. But you can, if I really want a sniper, I can, I can use him as that instead. Um, but uh, I can show you on the, let's see here. So that telescope, number 44, the spotter spyglass. So that's why I made it the artillery observers. And in order to do that, I had to cut a gun off a hand right there at the sleeve and uh, an arm off to do that. Now this is what was left out of the plastic sprues. I believe you had uh, two, three, four, five, six guys available. Uh, besides the regular guys that are here to make other things, uh, which I made a first lieutenant slash second lieutenant right here with two two riflemen. So here's my lieutenant and two riflemen. He's another interesting kit bash there. I took uh, one of the arms, if it'll focus, and uh, I believe this is the arm that's supposed to go to the other rifle. I'm not sure, but if not, you can cut that off and you can put these neat little binoculars there. Um, that's so I can tell it's the first lieutenant. So that's how I did that or first or the second lieutenant. I also had a Piat team that I created or I made. Uh, I put a little shell in his hand to signify that he goes with the Piat, uh, Piat team. I could have put the, uh, the rounds on his shoulder, but I was like, nah, I'll just go ahead and do it this way. Um, it works. He's carrying the shells, carrying the Piat. So we have a Piat team and, uh, this is not necessarily a thousand points like they had laid out um, on the back of the box, uh, but it's very close. Um, of course, I usually take a tank when I play. Uh, I'm going to be taking, I could take like the Wolverine or the Achilles, uh, a Churchill or a Firefly with this team. And that's, that's definitely going to be a thousand points. So, um, the only thing I did not build out of this whole entire kit, uh, I believe I had it written down here. Here's the box in front of me. So I built the Lieutenant and it says one extra rifleman. Well, I built an extra one, um, an artillery for an observer, paratroop sections, and they only had eight here. So I added plus two guys, uh, MMG team. I have a light mortar. I have a medium mortar. I have a Piat team. I got rid of the sniper. So those plus two guys went into this unit here. Uh, the flamethrower team, they were metal and the six pounder. Uh, so the only thing I didn't really build is the sniper, the sniper team. So I didn't build that, uh, out of this box. So very nice box, very nice kit. I love the plastic, 
uh, airborne figures, uh, especially the U.S. infantry ones. But that'll be some some other time, some other video. But uh, but there you have it. There it is. Thousand points. British airborne, ready to go, ready to fight some Fulschenegger and some Grenad German grenadiers. So I appreciate you sticking with me. Uh, if you have any questions or anything about anything else I did, please leave in the comments below. Also, I forgot to mention, I used a Tamea uh, liquid cement. Uh, you don't have to use that. I also have the Thin. I use that mostly on tanks. Um, but I also used the Instacure CA glue. Um, I used the liquid cement on these because, especially for the fiddly bits, because it actually it sticks a heck of a lot faster than your CA glue. Uh, or your normal super glue, super glue, I've found, and it gives you time to work with it. So when you're putting a little fiddly arm on uh, one of your figures, um, it'll it'll hold there, and then you can move it. So you have some play time, but yet you have that instant stick there. So that's why I use that. Matter of fact, I'm running out. I spilled some of it <laughs> uh, doing this video. So anyway, but that's all I have for you guys. I really appreciate it. Uh, if you haven't subscribed, please do. Please tell a friend. Please spread the word. I'd really appreciate it. If you like this video, please tell me you liked it. If you'd like to see more, I'd really appreciate that. And last but not least, from me to you, ta-ta! And we'll catch you in the next video.